Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and today we're going to be going over coding exercise 31 from the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp. So this is going to be going over um, just regular for loops, and um, it's asking you to print out the classic chorus from I'm Blue by Eiffel 65. If you have not listened to that song, this is a link, click it, you should. Um, they want us to use a for loop to print out the string six times, no more, no less. So let's, the first thing we can do here is we for loop JS. And let's see what W3Schools has to say. It's kind of like that. So here, we have this right here. And so code one is executed one time before the execution of the code block. So this is the code block. And then two defines the condition for, ex for executing the code block. And then three is executed every time after the code block has been run. So I think this is a good example right here. So what you'll see is we have, let's do, let's do, oh yeah, let's just, we'll just do 10. And We'll just cancel log i. All right, so what happens here is we start this loop and we have kind of our, our counter, so to speak. So this starts at zero and then the next thing runs and it says, this is what says, hey, you can run the block of code or hey, you can't. So is zero less than 10? It is. So now this runs. Then we come up here and then we add one. So I don't know if you guys remember, but plus plus is the same as I equals I plus one. So it's just the shorthand for it. So, all right, so that'll run, then I will be one. And then it says, is one less than 10? It is, so this runs again. So then we'll get one, and then we add one to that. Now I is two, is two less than 10, so on, so on, so on. And we get to the point until I is 10, and then it gets here and it says, hey, is I, less than 10, or sorry, is 10 less than 10, and it's not, so we stop running this block of code. So you'll see here, we did zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so again, we don't do 10 because we start counting at zero and 10 does not less than 10. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty basic. Um, so let's do this, we got let i equals zero, and then we have another one. And then I know I'm going to want to add to it. So we need to console.log da ba di da ba da. But now we need to make sure this runs six times. So if we're starting at zero, zero is going to be the first call. So we really don't want to go to a sixth time in the we really only want to do it five times because zero counts as one. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. Five will actually be the sixth time. So we kind of want to stop there. And you'll go over other ways to accomplish stuff like this. Um, but this is, you'll see a lot of one-offs where people will, you know, so like let's say we're like, oh, cool. Like we obviously want it to run six times. So we want I to be, keep going until it's less than, or if it's equal to six, because we want it to run a six time, right? So let's see what we get. And you guys are probably yelling at me. You're like, well, duh. So we actually got seven. And again, it's because we started counting at zero. So we have zero, zero is less than six. Yes, run, add one, we get one, true, print, add one, three, true, print, add one, four, true, print, add one, five, true, print. That was the sixth one because we started at zero. So we're at five. Now we're gonna add one, six, six less than or equal to six is true. So we actually end up printing it a seventh time. So there's two solutions to this. We can either A, make this five or we can just do the less than sign because six, once this gets to six, this will be false and we'll jump out of this loop. 
and you'll see we did pass it there. And then just to show you guys that I'm not lying, we can also do this. And we should get the solution solved as well. And perfect. Um, you guys can see that this was kind of a basic for loop. Um, in the uh, upcoming exercises, we will run into issues. And I will keep showing these kind of one-off errors because they are a thing that happens a lot. And I see them a good, not a, a lot, a lot, but I do see them in interviews. And while this may not be a complete game changer during your interview, um, it would definitely help if you didn't have a one-off error. So um, I hope you guys learned something today. If you have any questions or comments, ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.